guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another speed build. Today, I'm actually building a house based off of a picture off of the interwebs. This is actually an image that was sent to me by one of you guys and asked if I could build this. And I actually have tried to build this in the past and didn't like how it came out, but I thought I'd give it another attempt today because I do think it's a really cool house. It should be in the corner of the screen now if you'd like to take a look at what we're talking about. But it's a tiny house that has kind of a greenhouse built off of the porch. And I thought that was kind of cool because I have been talking about making a home that had more gardening aspects to it, but I also wanted to make a tiny home that was for more than one sim. And this is actually a home that can fit three sims and has gardening. And I think it's kind of cute. Uh, so I hope you guys do like it. I had thought about using this greenhouse object we got with Get Together at first. However, I did build one out of walls in the end. So here we are just kind of making uh, the greenhouse, it's its not perfect because with the type of roofing it has, it's not glass on all the sides, but I thought it still looked pretty good. And of course, putting windows all around it and just trying to figure out how to best make this look accurate. So we end up shrinking that portion in the front with the big thick black window, even though in the picture it's about the same size, but I didn't like how the roof was clipping with those two different roof pieces. So. We do shrink that down, so it's not 100% accurate, but I think it's pretty close, and I hope you guys think so as well. We're also creating this trellis over the porch area, which we can't quite see the top of it in the picture. I think it's just straight lines, but I really wanted an intricate detail, so that's what we did for that. And now we're gonna be filling in the plants in these planter boxes around the greenhouse. I really liked the colors that were in here, the yellows and the pinks. I don't think I ever would have chose those colors together just on my own, but I'm pretty happy with those color options. So yay for trying new things. Um, we're just adding another planter box over here using some half walls and then adding these columns to connect this trellis to the rest of the build. So something is holding it up. And there's that little plant we put in that one <laughs> box. Um, but. I think we're just painting the outside and figuring out where windows and stuff are going now. I did end up using this siding, which I don't know what pack that came from. Not entirely sure, but it's like an orangey creamish colored siding. And I thought it worked pretty well for the color of this build because it's a more natural wood color uh, on the exterior. And I guess we could have used like the cabin siding we got from Outdoor Retreat. But I thought that would look a little bit too cabin like. So I used this instead. But of course, you guys could change that. Uh, if you go ahead and download this house. I'm not actually sure when this build is going up. So depending on if I'm back from LA or not at the point when this goes up, will depend on if it's on the gallery or not. <laughs> if it's not, then I will upload it as soon as I get back. I'm sure I'm gonna have a couple things to upload to the gallery, um, but yeah. We're just figuring out the front here. I do size down a little, what is it called? Pipe, this is a pipe uh, to use in the front here to kind of make it look like this home is docked to the ground or nailed into the ground, like in the reference picture. And then the main house has a lot of black doors and windows, whereas the greenhouse we used brown. I think it's more of a green color in the reference picture, but I thought the brown was pretty close and looked quite nice. And then we're just adding a bunch of trees around. And then I was trying to figure out how to combine some items here to have these blue planters that are in the picture. And I really liked using these pottery pieces that we got from, what is the name of that pack? <laughs> I'm just like, it's Selva Dorada. That's the location, Jungle Adventure. That's that's what I'm thinking of. I really liked these planters and I thought they looked nice. I did put down this wood flooring from Outdoor Retreat at first, but I go ahead and switch it out a little bit later for the one from Spooky Day, I think, which I thought worked a little bit better for what I was going for. And doing some terrain painting. I wanted to add some like flowery areas of the grass, but also some more dirt and just kind of make it look like it's a little run down. It's been walked on quite a bit. And I think it came out okay in the end. And then I thought about adding another one of those like dock areas over here, but I thought it looked a little weird. So I did not end up keeping that. And here we are figuring out a floor plan. I do fit in two bedrooms and you can see me placing down random beds to make sure that the spaces would work. So this is gonna be the double bedroom and then that's gonna be the single one. We end up having a bathroom right there. I think I make it into a square bathroom instead. And then we have the kitchen wrapped around this corner. I also wanna say thank you. One of you guys had commented that your Sims can prepare food on a corner cabinet like that, which 
I feel like for a while, maybe they couldn't, or maybe I got confused because I never do that in my tiny homes, which wastes some space. Um, but I did play test it and make sure it worked and it did and it saved some space in here. So I was happy to use that trick. So thank you to uh, who had mentioned that. I really appreciate tips and tricks like that quite a bit. So we have our full kitchen. It's functional and great. I, I really enjoy how it came out. And then we have a table and chairs over here with three chairs. So you have enough seating for everybody that would be living in this house. And then I believe next to the fridge, we're going to be putting a television area. So you kind of sit across the room on the couch, but then you watch TV over there. But it's a really small space, so it's not that far away anyway. But we're switching out the floors now, and we do lighten up this kitchen area so it's not as dark. We do keep the black cabinetry, and I do really like that because it brings in the black color from the window frames. However, I thought it was a little overpowering, so we did tone it down by having these gray um, appliances and keeping the sink a white color. I also moved the plant over here. I was like, I want to put this plant, but I thought putting it next to the stove is probably not a great idea. That sounds a little bit like a fire hazard. So I didn't end up doing that. Um, but we're just trying to figure out a table here. And I actually ended up using this one with the green legs. I thought it was really cute. Um, and these chairs with the green and the flowers, I, I just really wanted the Sims that lived here to be really into their gardening. And in the greenhouse, we end up having a flower arranging table and we actually have quite a few planters and then like a gardening space outside as well. So I thought this would be a really fun place to kind of, you know, utilize that gardening career that we got an update to last year or, or the year before, last year. Last year seasons came out, right? Yeah, it was last year. Um, you know, really utilize that update to the gardening skill. And I just, I think it's so cool. Uh, are we gonna get a farming pack? Is that gonna happen? I also realized that I'm recording this before I leave and I have no idea what's getting announced. So we'll see if like that sounds ridiculous <laughs> or not after we like, after I get back or when you guys are hearing this, like, are they announcing, what are they announcing at EA Play? I have no idea. Uh, so I guess we'll see, but I think a gardening pack would be fun at some point. And a lot of people talk about that, so. I feel like a home like this might be fun if you have a gardening, not a gardening pack, a farming pack. Was this a gardening pack that entire time? Not sure. Anyway, that red shelf you're seeing around, if you're new here and unaware, that is a CC item I use to place items at more precise levels. It's custom content, but I do not leave it in the build, so it won't be in there if you download this and there will, there's no custom content in the build. Uh, but if you are interested in downloading that shelf to use for yourself, I do have it linked down below labeled as red shelf. Ooh, I just hiccup there. <laughs> really professional here. But anyway, uh, we're just figuring out the rest of the accessories in here. I do raise up a bunch of things over this bookcase, which I thought looked really cute. I uh, I don't know. I don't think I ever do that. Like I don't place tons of items on top of bookcases, but I just thought it would look nice and cluttered and fill in the space a little bit better. And I did want this place to look lived in because I do imagine a family lives here, like parents and their child. The kids' room is very, like, yellow and blue. Then again, so is the parents' room pretty blue and yellow, I think. No, it's green and yellow in the parents' room. I was like, I know yellow is in there. So it's a very bright colored bedroom space, and the whole house is um, got some fun colors in it, but with accents of black, which I quite liked. But I do imagine that there are parents living here, and then, like, a kid who's around, like, eight years old, maybe? That's kind of what I was thinking. And uh, yeah, I, you'll see I have a sim here that I was just play testing, making sure everything functioned. I believe I did that for the kitchen space earlier. I don't know if I, that was in the footage or not though, but I did test that out and uh, it all worked. So everything's functional. That makes me happy since, you know, it's a little bit of a struggle sometimes in tiny homes to make sure everything works, but I do play test them ahead of time with the problem areas that I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I always make sure to test that out before I put it up on the gallery. And then if there's a problem that I don't know before I do the voiceover, I just fix it before it goes on the gallery or if I don't mention it, yeah. I, I just make sure it's functional before it's up there. But if you do download it, one of my builds off of the gallery, you're gonna wanna make sure you put the move objects cheat on before you place it. Cause otherwise some items might drop or disappear. That goes for any build on the gallery cause a lot of people use move objects. Uh, it's just a good thing to keep in mind. And then we made this little nook over here, kind of like a closet nook. I thought that was nice. And we're just adding some artwork on the walls as well to fill it up and make it look a little bit more lifelike. 
did I keep that rug? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure because I feel like it's such an interesting rug. Oh, I used this one. Yeah, I used the Laundry Day one in bright yellow. I've never used it in that color before. And it's kind of interesting. There's a lot of yellow in here. There's not like any yellow in the main space, but there are colors out there, mostly green. The green, I feel like, is the main color in the living space in this home. Um, but yeah, there's some bright colors in here. I quite enjoyed it. And hopefully our eight-year-old Sim will enjoy this room as well. I believe I just put some sports equipment at the end of the bed and a couple of toys here. I don't think these are the toys you can play. Yeah, none of them are toys you can play with, but they're just cute decorative toys. So of course you could add toys if you download this house or like a jungle gym or swing set outside. I'm sure the Sim will enjoy it if they have this room and have those toys as well. Um, but yeah, this room's pretty much done. I think we're just gonna be adding a little rug down on the floor. And I think that's pretty much it for that space. And we're gonna just be moving on into the greenhouse. I did add that bonsai tree in the corner that your Sims could go ahead and cut down, as well as these planters, a cute little place to sit and a couple of decorative plants too. And I just think it would be such a nice place for your Sims to work on their gardening skill. And I hope you guys do like it. We're just gonna be adding a little dirt patch back here to plant some plants outside if it's during the months that they do well otherwise you can use the greenhouse to plant them whenever you want and they'll they'll be good all year i think that's so helpful that you can do that for indoor plants in the game uh, i love the gardening update it was so cool <laughs> but anyway we should be getting to the end of the video here shortly just doing some more landscaping adding tons of trees i really wanted this to fit into its area i believe this is a 20 by 30 lot i'm not entirely sure but it is in up in the woods in the back of brindleton bay uh, i occasionally build on these lots not that often though because i wish they connected to roads but they don't but they're really pretty like the woods here are gorgeous and really realistic because they are based on new england which is where i'm from so i definitely appreciate the scenery and how realistic it is anyway now we are actually coming to the end of the video just finishing up this landscaping i hope you guys did enjoy this if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up you can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you click that bell it'll turn on notifications so you'll be notified of every single time i upload a new video thank you guys so very very much for watching and i will see you all soon and this is may or may not be on the gallery but it, it'll be up when i get home bye everybody mm -hmm.